Why are the majority of people afraid to approach someone they don't know? Doing so is out of their comfort zone. They are afraid they will lose their dignity. They either don't recognize or forget that they bring value to a potential client. Consequently, they feel as though they are giving others superiority or power over them. They may have a low level of social boldness, which is a psychological term. What is it that people dread most about making cold calls? Feelings associated with rejection and being vulnerable to other people. Why do some salespeople give away control of their confidence and self-esteem to a complete stranger? It's because customers control the purse strings, so they have a tendency to put the customer in a position of power or superiority over them because they have the ability to reject them or say no to them. Why is it so easy in most instances for someone to hurt our feelings and destroy our drive and determination? For emotional reasons, we have a need to feel validated by other people. When they don't validate us, we see this as rejection. Until we can differentiate between personal rejection and this being a part of business, we will always have a challenge. What is the benefit of being told no? First, you have to determine whether it is a real no or not, which does require skill and tact. Is it a no for now or a no forever? Once you've established that it is a real no, it saves you time. You can focus your energies on another profitable activity. How much energy should you burn up wondering what happened, what you did or said wrong, why they didn't like you, or why you were treated so poorly? In the heat of the moment, none. You may wish to reflect on it later to determine if there is a better way you could have handled the situation, or if it keeps happening, you may need to rethink and alter your approach. How do you need to feel about rejection and fear in order to be successful in professional sales? It requires a shift in mindset. If you think of it like you are offering free samples at the store and not everyone is going to be interested, then you will have a healthier and more realistic view. If you program your mind with the understanding that each positive response or yes is sandwiched between many more negative responses or no's, then you will begin to shift to a mindset that sees that there is value in each no because it is getting you one step closer to a yes. What do you need to do in order to be more proactive, enjoy prospecting and cold calling, and increase your success level while doing so? Stop giving away your power. Make it fun. I've worked in sales teams where we've scheduled contests to make it more competitive and fun. Everyone throws $5 into the pot, and the person who schedules the most appointments in a predetermined amount of time wins the pot. Challenge yourself. For instance, I will make enough phone calls to have conversations with at least 10 prospects before moving on to another activity. The number that you choose should be a challenge. If and when this number no longer represents a challenge, then raise it. Set a goal. For instance, I will schedule three appointments before moving on to another activity. If you don't make the calls, what will the result be? Nothing. Or even worse, going backwards. As humans, we are emotional beings. When we allow our negative emotions to take control of our actions, our sales results are negatively impacted. It's important to put things into proper perspective and gauge your activities based on logic and reason. Keep this in mind. Number of deaths directly related to cold calling in the past 100 years, zero. Number of physical traumas in the past 100 years, zero. Based on statistics, cold calling and prospecting aren't likely to harm you. However, not engaging in these activities 
will definitely be to your detriment. You will meet people who have a job title that from all appearances has little or nothing to do with sales. You will meet others who have a job title that appears to be a definite sales role. However, this can be misleading because it isn't the job title that determines whether a person is an order taker or a sales professional. It is how they think about their work and the activities that they assume responsibility for that determines who they really are. The list that follows outlines the differences between someone who has order taker mentality versus an individual who earns their income as a sales or business professional. Reactive on client requests. Proactive. Takes and acts on orders and instructions from the customer. Pursues business opportunities. Waits for the order. Makes business happen. Fills order placed by customers by phone or in person. Creates business. Let's customer identify his own needs. Identifies customer needs. Short-term involvement. Long-term involvement. Less knowledgeable, expects the customer to know what they want. Knowledgeable and professional approach. Defeatist attitude. Fighter. Robot, very mechanical approach. Fluid, flexible, and highly skilled. Waits for the business. Expects to work for the business. Offers limited or no client solutions. Service oriented. May be civil and cordial, but maintains limited conversation with customer. Communicator. Asks minimum questions. Asks questions. Focused on self. Focused on client requirements. Prefers not to exert too much effort. Whatever it takes to get the job done attitude. Sees problems rather than opportunities. Problem solver. Sees past problems to opportunities they present. Lacks motivation. Enjoys challenges. Passive and slow paced. Outgoing, likes running at a fast and furious pace. May think of customers as an annoyance or interruption in their day. Wants to help the customer win. Secretly fears that the customer will ask for assistance or professional advice. No fear, full steam ahead, charge into battle. Hates having to think too much about work-related issues. Loves the thought process. Wings it. Operates with a plan and objectives in mind. This concludes step number three of the learning path. Please click on the green next button with the white arrow in order to advance when you are ready to proceed.